everybody, how you doing? Um, I got bored. And so in chat GPT version 3.5, I asked it to write a program where the user can move a block around the screen. It replied, certainly. Here's a simple Python program using the Py Game library to create a window where the user can move a block around the screen. And this is all the code it generated. Make sure you have the Pygame library install. Use pip install Pygame before running this code. The program creates a window and the user can move a blue block around using the arrow keys. The block's position is updated in the main loop based on key presses and the screen is redrawn each frame. The clock is used to control the frame rate. So I thought to myself, okay, does this actually work? Because I've done the same thing in Java and that was kind of fun, but I just wanted to make sure it works with and look, there's our there's our block. We can and sure enough we can move it around the screen. And it stops when we stop. Um, it goes off the screen. Which is kind of weird. So I wonder if we can give it more instructions. Uh, make it so the box cannot escape the window. So now we made it so that it cannot escape the window. Let's see what that does. it still escapes the window. Oh, did I save it? Did I save my code? No, I did not. Let's try it again. Oh, look at that. Now the box is, it, it, it can't leave the window now. Wow, that is pretty neat. So yeah, so ChatGBT can be interesting and helpful. Um, let's try one more thing. Um, let's have, let's see. Allow the box to fire a projectile when pressing the space bar. It's it's so it's so helpful. Go well, certainly. Let's add an ability for a block to fire a projectile when the space bar is pressed. We'll create a simple project projectile that moves upward when fired. Here's the modified code. Now, when you press the space bar, the block will fire a projectile upwards. The projectile disappears when it reaches the top of the window. You can adjust the speed and appearance of the projectile as needed. Um, let's see in our code, there's projectile. Well, let's, let's give it a run here. I, this is like new territory to me, so I have no clue what I'm doing. Oh, look at that. I'm just pressing the space bar. And it is, um, It is doing what I asked. As you can see, it's still within the bounds and it's still a blue box that I can move around. So you can easily, I'm assuming that the commands would have to be like small steps at a time to continue creating uh, more things. But yeah, um, I have no clue how accurate this code is. I'll be honest. Because uh, I don't program in Python much. Uh, like I said, I've, I've, I've done some testing with uh, Java. And it's produced some interesting code. <laughs> some I've, I've had to, to monkey with. Um, to 
to make some variables uh, available and things like that. But yeah, so enjoy yourself. Um, give it a shot. See what you can come up with having ChatGBT create something. I'm sure you can make it create some interesting things and then you can improve upon it yourself. All right, have a good day. Bye now.